Captain? Mr. Kenway! I just wanted to thank you again for taking me aboard, and apologize for any inconvenience it may have caused. Inconvenience would be an understatement. I'm sorry, I don't follow. My ship was held in port for two days that we might accommodate you. I lost several contracts as a result. I had no idea. Of course not. You nobles are all the same. And then all will be well. You sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. No, you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Not that's no place for tender Parnells. So I think. I do. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. That's enough, Graves. Stay out of this. Sees us. To hell with the captain. And to hell with you, Mills. Who signed you on anyway? Come on, brother. Dodge. Come. We're ready to go again if you are. This is unwise. What is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. But you should be. These odds. What's the meaning of this? Captain! Explain yourself at once, Mr. Kenway. These fought. We were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. <coughs> oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife back. I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, 
ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? Excellent. Good day. Mr. Kenway. Captain? Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. I'd best get to work. But I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. for another couple hours. Some biscuits in the barrel if you're desperate. Actually, I've come with a question. What's that? Have any of the men been acting strange recently? Said anything that struck you as out of the ordinary? The boys cry about the rations, as if there's anything I can do about it. But beyond that, I ain't heard much. My advice? Go find James. His ears are always open. 
And where might I find him? Right behind you, actually. He's the one sitting on the barrel. to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. Oh, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they've little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk them down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. Evening, sir. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. Take care where you tread. Deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? Provision for such luxuries. It's not right that you should face the land. Most curious. 